You're listening to Health Professional Radio. My name is Wayne Buckler and my guest today joins me from Melbourne in Australia. She is Associate Professor Karen Reed, Research Director at the National Institute of Integrative Medicine in Melbourne. Karen, welcome to Health Professional Radio. Good day. Karen, you've been doing some research around cardiovascular disease in Australia and uh, aged garlic extract. Can you tell us about that research? Yeah, that's correct. So I have been uh, doing research in aged garlic extract for, you know, about uh, eight to ten years. And uh, the more I research, the more fascinated I become. So cardiovascular health, you can look at blood pressure, but we also have been looking at arterial stiffness and central blood pressure. So that's basically what's going on inside of you. So not just at the periphery, at the arm, but also inside near the heart. And we have had some fascinating results. So with the aged garlic extract, we found um, consistently in the research we've been doing that it is able to uh, reduce blood pressure in hypertensive people. So people who have a blood pressure of more than 140 over 90 to reduce that um, by 11 points systolic Mm -hmm. and 6 points diastolic, which is very close to what um, standard blood pressure medication can do, but with the added benefits of other effects garlic H. garlic extract has on the cardiovascular system and without major side effects. So it's a very um, useful blood pressure um, medication for a a large group of um, patients we have been looking at. And and this has been um, done as as an academic trial, Karen, or how how has your research been done? Yes, we've done uh, three clinical trials so far on uh, the aged garlic extract on blood pressure and other cardiovascular risk factors. And uh, the first trial was done in... Adelaide uh, on a group of pre-hypertensive people, uh, so that means they are around 130 over 85 um, systolic and diastolic blood pressure. And we found in that first trial that garlic, um, the chiolic aged garlic extract, can reduce the high blood pressure, but it doesn't reduce normal blood pressure. So basically, you wouldn't have any side effects in the, in the sense that you get suddenly very low blood pressure, which is also not uh, very useful. And that's uh, to the contrary to some standard blood, pres- uh, uh, blood pressure medication. So basically, mm. the chiolic H. garlic extract can normalize blood pressure, but it doesn't always reduce it if it's not necessary. So that's what we found in the first trial. In the second trial, we looked at um, dose response. So we wanted to know how much do you actually have to take of the high-potency formula here available in Australia, which is um, you call chiolic. And we found that uh, the four and two capsules a day were reducing the blood pressure to a maximum of, you know, the 11 points systolic. And one was usually not enough for uh, this, um, change in the ma- to the maximum uh, mm-hmm. for a normal standard uh, 70 kilo a- adult. Um, with the two and the four, it was interesting that um, we didn't get more benefits with the four uh, in terms of blood pressure. And so basically meaning that you don't have to go overboard you know, in terms of tablet taking as well as uh, price and cost. And so at the moment, the third trial and uh, any recommendations, we would say two tablets a day of the high-potency formula. After two months, you would see whether or not uh, it has an effect and how big the effect is. And then in the third trial, we added on some extra cardiovascular risk factors we measured, and we found that uh, chiolic H garlic extract can reduce the pulse with velocity, arterial stiffness, and inflammatory markers, as well as uh, normalized cholesterol levels. So if it's slightly elevated, then um, the cholesterol would also be positively influenced. And for good measure, um, 
the blood thinning, we looked into that as well because there's always the question whether garlic um, can be taken by people on blood thinning medications or you can't take it if you're having a surgery. With kaolic H garlic extract, we don't find any risk in the blood getting thinner if it is already thin. So it's to the contrary that um, if you have thin blood, the aged garlic extract will normalize it, so make it thicker. Whereas if you have sticky blood, which you don't want because it can cause you know lots of problems, including heart attack and stroke, um, it would help getting the blood thinner. So basically, um, you know, a very safe option again to to look for cardiovascular health and risk factors so you don't you can have it with other blood pressure medication with other blood thinning medication whatever you know people are already prescribed and it works for them mm -hmm. um kaolic h garlic extract can be taken in addition you're listening to health professional radio my name is wayne buckler i'm in conversation today with associate professor karen reed who's the research director at the national institute of Integrative Medicine in Melbourne, and Corinne has been telling us about cardiovascular disease in Australia in kyolic aged garlic extract and the results of some research that she's recently published. Corinne, what does the kyolic describe? Is that a brand name or does that describe a particular characteristic of the aged garlic extract? Yeah, it's it's actually both. So kaolic uh, actually comes from kaio, uh, meaning strong in Japanese, and mm -hmm. lick from garlic. And it's uh, developed uh, in Japan, um, uh, you know, about 60, 65 years ago. And uh, here in Australia, we can get the kaolic aged garlic extract uh, from Wagner. And um, so that's the brand, you know, which distributes it. But if you just look for... Kaolic H garlic extract, you would always be directed to that. the The thing is that with uh, the H garlic extract, it's a twenty month old pr process of um, changing the chemicals in the garlic. So actually, raw garlic or the garlic we use in foods um, wouldn't have the same benefits because you don't have the chemicals which are stable and you can dose them. As well, with raw garlic, you have some toxins in there. So if you have a high dose of raw garlic, you actually wouldn't do that well. Whereas in the 20 months process, um, these chemicals are changed into something more tolerable and more effective. And so there's a big difference between eating, you know, a whole cloth of garlic every day or having this specially, you know, uh, processed garlic and it's also different to garlic oil or garlic powder you would get because it has this you know um, chemical change in it and the uh, kaolic we can buy is always uh, standardized so to particular um, uh, chemical the SLU cysteine so we know how much we take and that's what we've researched in in, in our trials. So we, we know exactly the dosage and what, what's going to give the best benefit. So that's um, that's one thing with kaolic H garlic extract and the other uh, is the tolerability. So it's A odorless, which is probably very useful for a lot of people. Mm, I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> yes, and also very uh, tolerable. So if people have a bit of a problem with... Um, you know, garlic and onion, uh, sulfur-containing foods. With the garlic H garlic extract, we found that uh, people who have been a bit sensitive, they might have for a week um, a bit of bloating and, um, you know, uh, reflux. But after a week, this is actually going to, you know, get better. And that has something to do with the prebiotic, um, you know, qualities of garlic because it would would have an influence on your digestive system, you know, on the microbes in the gut, which also has an influence on your immune system. So uh, basically, if uh, one wanted to try it, uh, you can do that, um, you know, in terms of tolerability for a week. If it doesn't get better, then maybe a, a lower dose can be taken first to get the body used to it. But in terms of if it helps for blood pressure, um, 
you would have a period of about two months where you check whether or not there's any any effects. And um, we found consistently in our studies that 70% of people, um, so we got 30% of adults have hypertension and 70% of those actually respond to aged garlic extract. And that's a you know, very high number. So mm. to, to, to try whether it works for you without any other changes so that we've got some ideas how we can, re, you know, increase the number even more because you need um, certain uh, nutrients like vitamin B12 and B6 and so on to actually go through the cascade of the mechanism how garlic works on blood pressure. So so they, there might be some things people can do if it, they don't respond, but uh, the majority would without, you know, changing anything else. I see. Karen, is there a website that people can go to to find more information or should they just Google the Kaolic Aged Garlic Extract? Yeah, I mean, there's uh, the opportunity to actually look at the full paper if um, because it has all the results in there, which is uh, open access. So they could go Google my name and Kaolic Aged Garlic Extract and blood pressure and it would come up. Mm-hmm. Uh, the NIM website also directs to the paper and um, you know the research we've been doing and has a couple of links to some articles which are featuring that research. So that might be the easiest we- website to go uh, to to find your way around. So the nim.com.au is, is our National Institute of Integrative Medicine website. Karen, it's been lovely talking with you today and congratulations on your research. Thank you for making yourself available today to have a chat to us. Okay, thank you very much. If you've just missed my conversation with Associate Professor Karen Reed, Research Director at the National Institute of Integrative Medicine in Melbourne, we've been having a fascinating chat about uh, cardiovascular disease in Australia and a chialic aged garlic extract and some research that Karen has recently completed. The good news, however, is that on our website at the Health Professional Radio website at www.hpr.fm. You can find a transcript of the interview and there is also an audio archive on both SoundCloud and YouTube. And you can access both of those through links at the Health Professional Radio website. Thank you for listening to Health Professional Radio. It's been a pleasure having your company with us today. My name is Wayne Buckler.